Good evening. In tonight's news we bring you the latest update from Stockholm in Sweden, where a man has been arrested for possessing 10 unopened tins of fermented herring and a tin opener in a heavily populated area. Police are treating it as a potential terrorist attack. Apparently these tins of fermented fish produce one of the foulest stenches in the world when opened and have been reputed to kill birds with one whiff. Search to Erming. Sorry, Carla? Search to Erming? Oh, I see. Yeah, right. It's called Search to Erming. The fermented fish? Okay. Well, thanks for that little insight there, Carla. Anyways, back to the fermented fish bulletin. Several streets were evacuated, while bomb disposal experts tried to make the tin safe with a small controlled explosion. Oh, great. I bet that worked out well? Well actually no Carla, it didn't. You don't say. In fact the offending fish was very effectively dispersed in the explosion and the entire city had to be evacuated. Apparently if it had been Waffle Day, far more people would have been affected. Waffle Day? Did you just say, Waffle Day? Yes. The Swedes have a national day for eating waffles. Oh please. You'll be telling me they have a cinnamon bun day next. Well actually, oh never mind, more news just in from Sweden. The national rabbit jumping competition has had to be cancelled this year when a giant cloud of toxic herring fumes knocked out most of the competitors. That's the most ridiculous story I've heard all week. Well the Swedish Federation of Rabbit Jumping were furious. It's the highlight of their year you know. Well that's all we've got time for. Join us for the next news bulletin, which hopefully won't be quite so herring. Waffle and rabbit based. Bye bye for now. Steady Paul. You know that scares the viewers.